Hi, I am Lakshman Lonkar, a lecturer in Electronics Department from Government Polytechnic Washim. Uh, in last lecture, we have seen uh, transfer function of LC uh, RL circuit and uh, open loop, open transfer function of OLT, uh, open loop and closed loop. So now we will see transfer function of LC circuit. See here is circuit uh, L and C. So there are two components, one is inductor and capacitor. So again the same, uh, we will apply the KVL for inner loop and outer loop. This is input loop and this is our your output loop. Again then we will calculate the, we will derive the transfer function, we will take the Laplace transfer of input and output. So what is the input equation for this? V of t is, is equal to L d, d into d, d, d by dt into I of t. Right? So this is a, uh, this is for inductor plus 1 by c so this is uh, this is for capacitor so plus 1 by c into integration of 0 to t i of t into dt so this is for your inner loop kv uh, as per the kvl so this is for your inner loop now what is for out uh, for uh, output loop so v0 of t is equal to 1 by c c for this there is only one uh, component in the contact so uh, we will calculate for only c so, uh, while applying inner C, there are two components in contact L and C. So, therefore, we have calculated for L and C. For outer loop, there, there is only one uh, component in the contact like only C. So, we have calculated only for the C. 1 by C upon 0, 1 by C into 0 to t, i t into dt. So, this is for this is the equation. So, we will get a Laplace transfer of this uh, in uh, input equation and output equation. So, uh, by, when you calculate the, in, uh, when you are taking the Laplace transfer of both the equation, then you your input uh, for the in laptop transfer of for input input equation is we have s so this t is replaced by s is equal to uh, this l is constant so we, uh, we keep as it is so di by dt is replaced by this small s and i of t is replaced by i of s so this is a laptop transfer of this inductor plus uh, what is the laplace transfer for this for this term so 1 by c is constant so we are taking 1 by c is constant so Laplace uh, integration of 0 to t uh, into i of t the Laplace of this is i of s so here is i of s but here is 1 1 dot dt means the so Laplace of 1 is 1 by s so we will we will get 1 by c of s into uh, c s into i of s so we will rearrange this equation so uh, here is i of s and again here here is also i of s so we will take uh, common I have basically will take common uh, in bracket so this is L, ls and plus 1 by cs so uh, if we if we rearrange this i of s is equal to we are take just uh, s before the l as l plus as 1 by sc what now what is for output so the Laplace transfer of this equation, this is the equation, the Laplace transfer of this equation is v, v0 of s. So, this uh, t is replaced by s over here is equal to 1 by c is your constant, 1 by c is your constant, see 1 by c is constant and 1 dt, one d, the Laplace of 1 is 1 by s. So, here is 1, 1 by s, 1 by s into 1 by c, so we will get 1 by sc. And, uh, the Laplace of I of T is your I of S. So now we'll, we have to derive the transfer function as we know that the ratio of Laplace transfer of output to the Laplace transfer Laplace transfer of input. So here is a Laplace transfer of output and here is a Laplace transfer of input. So V0 of S upon VI of S. So what is V0 of S? V0 of S is nothing but your uh, 1 by SC into I of S. Here is a 1 by SC into I of S. And what is your uh, V I of S? U of is nothing but your. Uh, here is V of S, Laplace transfer of input is V of S in, in bracket as L plus 1 by SC. So this I of S, I of S will get cancelled. And if you, if you, and if you, uh, here is in uh, denominator you can see S L plus 1 by SC. So the cross multiplication we will cross we will do cross multiplication over here so sc multiply by sl so it, it will get s square lc plus 1 divided by 1 by sc divided by sc 
So this SC and this SC will cancel. Divided by this SC, this SC and this SC will get cancelled. And uh, one will remaining over here. So what is the final equation? Final equation is one by S square L C plus one. So this is the transfer function of L C. L C circuit transfer function of L C is final. Finally, we will get J of S is, is equal to one upon S square L C plus one. So this is the transfer function. Now we will see the transfer function of R L C circuit. Uh, so uh, the R L the transfer function of R L C circuit. The transfer function of R L C circuit. So here is the uh, circuit diagram. Here is R L and C. Now in uh, previously we have seen R L, R C and L C. Now right now three component are in this circuit. So the process will be same. Just we need to keep in mind there should be a, a specific equation for R L and C, right? So this is a this is your uh, inner loop and this is your outer loop. Again we will apply inner loop uh, inner loop to this uh, K wheel to this inner loop and outer loop. So what is the inner loop equation? R into R. so directly we have calculated the Laplace transform of I S here. Actually as we know that what is the input equation? What will be the input equation? So E of S uh, is equal to R into I of T plus L dot D I by D T plus uh, what is what is the equation for C? One by C into integration of zero to T integration of I into D T. So this is the uh, input equation. So we are again we will uh, again for the what is the output equation? So V E E zero of S E zero of T equal to one by C integration of zero to T into I D, I I of T into D T. So this is the equation. Then if you calculate your uh, their Laplace, then we will get uh, a of s equal to r into i of s, the Laplace of this r into i of s uh, plus s l, s l into i of s, the Laplace of this uh, inductor plus one by s c into i of s, as this uh, I have taken directly because of all they are calculated. So uh, now we have to calculate the Laplace transfer of output equation that is e of zero. So what is the output equation? Output. Uh, what is the Laplace transfer of output? One by C into Laplace transfer. That means one by S C. Here is the Laplace of output. One by S C into I of S. Now see in this equation, I of S is in is in, is in common in the uh, in three terms, right? Here is I of S. Here is also I of S. Here is also I of S. So we will get common I of S. What will be the remaining in bracket? R plus here, here this R plus this L S, uh, this L S plus this one by S C. So in bracket we will get R plus S L plus one by S C, and this I of S is common, and uh, this is output equation Laplace transfer of output. As we know the transfer for the calculating transfer function, we should have to. Uh, get the Laplace transfer of output to the Laplace uh, transfer of input. So now, if you put uh, one by S C into I S C, I S C, this I S I S will cancel. So there is no need to write again. This I S and this I S will get cancelled. So remaining is one by S C. Here is one by S C upon R plus S L plus one by S C upon R plus S L plus one by S C. Now again we will get the cross product. Then we will get, uh, if you do cross closure, we will get, the, if you calculate the LCM of this, then you will get the 1 upon S square LC, right? This S square LC plus SCR plus this again, this multiply with this, this R, then plus SCR plus 1. And those will be uh, remaining by SC, div uh, div uh, divided by SC, that SC will get cancelled with this SC. So final equation we will we'll get. 1 upon S square LC plus SCR plus 1. So this is your final uh, transfer function of your RLC circuit. In this way actually we have seen the transfer function of RC circuit, LC circuit, RL circuit. Then uh, finally, final one is RLC circuit. So if, uh, if in, in the examination, uh, if they will ask uh, uh, different from this, then you, uh, you can Solve this exam example by using this component uh, by using this derived uh, equations. Uh, in this example, I will uh, explain. Now, 
uh, this is all about the transfer function we will uh, move toward the block uh, diagram relation techniques see uh, why block diagram relation technique is important what is the need of this uh, block diagram relation technique is actually uh, we are calculating the transfer function we are deriving the uh, transfer function for minimum we can derive the transfer function from simple and uh, limited parameter like r c and uh, l these are the limited uh, component we can derive the transfer function of that but if uh, what will happen if there are number of component or some complex systems so what will happen so transfer function will not work uh, in the, in that case so there uh, so there there should be something like uh, we can uh, how uh, there is there is there there could be something uh, ha some have to to have some provision to arrange all this complex system in a simple way so that we can calculate the transfer function so this is the main um, uh, point of, of need so in the examination they may ask the need of block diagram relation techniques see see here you can see they they are easy to analyze why it is uh, block diagram relation technique is uh, necessary because it is a simple system and it is easy to analyze the uh, by transfer function but if the complicated uh, if the system is complicated or have maximum number of component then it is very difficult to analyze right so this is important uh, point you, you should have to keep in mind uh, the, if complicated setting then uh, difficult to arrange or uh, difficult to find out the transfer function then next simple way to represent and complicated system it is very simple way to represent complicated system because large number of uh, or three or four block you can just manage or you can uh, keep in uh, you can keep in one block also you can mention in one block also so so here next uh, what is the next uh, point each component represent a separate block functional block right so we'll see again but just keep, uh, right now just uh, keep in mind each block is separated by a functional block means this, this kind of functional block each block is separated by a functional block whatever the, that output equation of that particular block will be will be represented as a functional block separated functional block effect of effect of input and output through block means whatever the input we are applying and whatever the output we are getting it is just indicated by that separate block pictorial representation this point is important this is a pictorial representation of functional function performed by each component flow of the signal means this block will represent uh, or this arrow will represent from which signal from which signal from which direction signal is coming and where is where, where we are applying the signal so this is also important uh, for identification this is a summing point this is a block or functional block we can say uh, this is a take up point already uh, we have seen this take up point and this arrow indicates the direction of uh, sig signal flow in which direction the signal are uh, going so this is all about the block diagram relation techniques uh, we will see the uh, rules of this block diagram relation techniques and some example in next lecture thank you